Howdy everybody and welcome back to Melania's Arsenal, the series where we fight Melania and NG7 with every single weapon. In this episode we'll be using the Claws of Night. This one was suggested by Final Starman. Before we get into it, I'd just like to ask if you enjoy the content, please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment if you want to help choose what's next. Uh, I'm going to say I think this weapon's going to be very strong. And let's get into it, shall we? Claws of a bottomless black from which no light can escape. Wielded by Anna, Sword Hand of Night. Engraved with a smith script enabling strong attack. Yep, not plural, okay. To launch all three claws at a target. The blades are only semi-corporeal and cannot be fully guarded against. Okay, that's cool. Because that means that her guard fleeing thing will uh, stop her from... I won't bounce off of it, I think. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to try out Scattershot Throw, yeah. I have a feeling this weapon's going to be really good, by the way. Because, well, it's claws anyway, but... On top of that, like, you have a throwing option. Yeah, and you get bleed. Like, I don't know, I think this weapon seems incredibly powerful, to say the least. It is split damage. Ooh... I'm playing a little bit aggressive right now, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I was worried that would hit me. We're gonna roll here and then we're gonna heal, just in case she water fouls. Yeah, we're not gonna respect her on that one. There's the water foul. Uh, as you can see, this thing is kind of demolishing her. This should cause her to run up at me, by the way. Yeah. Can't really complain about that either. I swear I'm not panic rolling. That was dodging that way in case she did the uh, flip. Overall, uh, so far, this thing's kind of destroying her, huh? I forgot to put on the combo physic tier, and I forgot to go over what my actual uh, talismans are. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit out of it for what I'm supposed to be doing. It's... I've been taking fewer days to record, so. But as you can see, the actual damage on this is really good. It does have split damage, it has partial magic damage, but I don't think that really matters. As you can see. It's just huge damage when you hit her. She should probably go do, yeah, that soon. Blossom. Let's see if this hits from here. It does for like minimum damage, but it is free pokes. And by free, I mean weapon art pokes, but like still. Seems a little belligerent against her, honestly. Like you kind of just don't need to respect her much at all. Really? <laughs> Where were my hits, dude? What do you mean I was whiffing? I'm confused. She should be, like, dead right now. Oh, well. So after this one, there's a good chance that she's going to waterfowl out of it. So I'm going to try to throw projectiles to stop her from doing that. I guess the scanner shot throw has further range. We'll see if we can trigger her running instead. Yeah, there we go. Because there's a good chance that she wants to... She probably wanted to waterfowl and then to attack the clones. She didn't even get a chance to. This weapon's very good, I gotta say. I didn't even go over the build. It's a pretty simple build. Uh, very good. It's hard to really find something to say is bad about it. It's also a pure dex weapon, by the way, so it scales off of one stat for all of its damage. Split damage doesn't really matter. Uh, beyond that, I mean, like... It's kind of hard to say anything bad about this. Oh, also, it's like the longest range of claws we've ever had. Let's see if I can show it off. Like, significantly longer. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, something weak to slash, just not... Not her, Rolana. So we're gonna go fight Mesmer. My kitty cat is being very noisy tonight. She is very upset with me. Unfortunately... That means she's messing with the recording. I don't think you guys mind that much. I don't know. Can that hit from there? Not at all. 
could probably do two here for pretty good damage. I did not mean to roll twice there. May have worked if I hadn't rolled twice. Really? Alright, we're gonna heal. I mean, I'm not very good at the Mesmer fight yet. Also, I'm kind of rusty, so like... There's no telling how bad this is gonna go. Although, actual damage per tick we're getting is really high. Hopefully he'll throw a spear at me. Yeah, that was really good. It's a really good punish window, honestly. Holy cow, dude, these things do a massive damage. Double weapon art, probably. I mean, yeah. I still roll that too early, dude. Get me out of there. You know, I never thought about just blocking it. <laughs> the snakes just do physical damage, dude. And when you have something like... Actually, I'm using an unupgraded heater shield. And they're, they're still easy to block. Okay. Dude, that's so delayed, dude. Oh, that hits twice if you mistime the roll. <laughs> that's okay. I think we're actually doing, like, still just fine against him. Can I just block this one, too, by the way? Yeah, pretty easily, too. All right. I think that kind of changes how I want to approach Mesmer. Don't know if you can... Oh, really? Whoa. I didn't know he could do that after I rolled. Ooh. All right, I should be dead here, honestly, with how I'm rolling and dodging. I just cannot seem to find the time to actually hit Mesmer in this face. I'll get there. I right, like there's this attack, I guess. Thing is, I don't need much more to actually kill him. Dude, that one hits so delayed. And then if you get hit by that part, he basically gets... Oh my goodness, a good attack. Alright, he should be probably just dead here. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of butchered that kill. But he still died pretty easily there. Uh, I'm learning a lot, and I think Brass Shield probably... Like nullifies his phase two and i will do further testing in the next video i do i'm very kind of i'm kind of excited to try that one out uh we're doing this guy just because he's kind of weak to everything due to his power level it's okay kitty cat this kitty cat's so upset these days anyway this guy you don't roll that. All right. However, you do jump this. Okay. I think you just need to jump twice, right? Nope, it's three. Depending on positioning, probably. Our light is okay anyway, even if we have taken that much damage. All right, that doesn't even hit up close. Perfect. All right, this doesn't actually have a hitbox on it, which means we can just get up close to him then. I mean, yeah, we're not really in much danger here, huh? Yeah, we might get zapped. I might die here. We'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so much for saying I'm not really in much danger, huh? I got way ahead of myself. But as you can see, that boss fight takes like 30 seconds to complete, though. My goodness, this cat's being noisy. I need to find... I think I'm actually going to be changing my recording setup soon, guys. I will be moving to a new room. Just so like I don't have to worry about the cats at all. Unless I actively want them in there. Which is typically not the case for recording. I won't lie. Hey, where's my rolls, dude? How oh, gross. Yeah, this is gross. What do I do here? What the heck? Guys, I've died more to dancing beast 
or a divine beast dancing lion, and then I have Mesmer here. Obviously, I didn't die to Mesmer at all, but like, I am way over committing here. Hush, little kitty cat. She will not be quiet tonight. This guy really shouldn't be that difficult. I'm getting way ahead of myself. It's a big part of it. Like he's pretty weak on the power level, so I'm not taking him seriously enough. Also, I can't stand this attack. It just feels like a waste of time. I don't quite know how to handle it yet to actually get good DPS off of it. Or if I just have to respect it entirely, which I might, I don't know. He should bleed soon, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. And that means he'll transform into his lightning phase. I'll heal here. This has no hitbox on it, so you just have to... You can get lucky sometimes, depending on where the lightning lands. One thing I think is kind of interesting about this phase is that he does force it to rain, so he does just lower your lightning defense. Which is pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> even though he doesn't do much damage still. I'm like way over committing on all of this. That's why he's killing me, by the way. By the way, I'm thinking I'm just kind of not going to do the gauntlet this time. All right. God, I don't know how you ever get grabbed by that. Not if you're far or not if you're right up against him, at least. Oh, good. I think that's a guaranteed hit if you're not already moving. I could be wrong. Can you tell that this is one of the fights I never really spent too much time to learn? Like learning? <laughs> I think it kind of shows, huh? All right, let's go fight like Gaius now and watch us not die to him, but only die to Dancing Lion two or three times. But so far, I think this weapon is incredibly powerful. It's kind of hard to be, to choose, or to go wrong with choosing this thing. Like, it's just really good. We're going to see if we can time this vow, but I think it's one of the most awkward vow timings possible. We got it. Nice. <laughs> I got stuck. Ooh, he hits hard, huh? Now we'll heal. He'll probably charge us. That's okay. I mistimed that roll. I didn't think I did. I've probably held a uh, sprint too long. That's okay. He seems to be kind of slash resistant, I gotta say. I'm okay with that. It just means we're gonna be, uh, be relying a little bit more on the bleed damage. Also, I should use Scattershot Throw some more. I have it for a reason. Also, it bleeds. <laughs> it's a multi-hit attack, so I think it builds up bleed faster than R1 against... Oh, what happened? He missed. How did he miss? How does he do that? <laughs> I rolled way too early there. Sheesh. Ow, that hits hard. I was swapping back to trying to two-hand. Wow, she's loud. I'm going to have to mute myself here. I'm sorry. Ooh, we're actually super close to getting the kill, huh? We'll take it. Never mind. Now we'll take it. <laughs> okay, I mean, I gotta say, 
Uh, these weapons are doing wonderful work. What's left? I'm not going to do the, the Sunflower, I don't think, guys. I'm not super interested in that fight right now. But I'll try Relina, and then we'll call it there, I think. It'll be a pretty good length video. So far, Dancing Lion is the only thing to have killed me, really. Oh, I'm not going to take these back to base game, by the way, because... No matter the claw weapon, it kind of just destroys base game. I won't lie, like, claws just absolutely demolish. If you didn't know. They're really good against basically everything. Alright. Wait, she can continue her combo there? Whoa! We'll drink twice, yeah. I forgot to drink my physic, didn't I, huh? Yes, I did. I'll throw at you, too. Alright, like, you have so much time on that, huh? Alright, and then do fire, please. Thank you. While she does that, we'll drink my Physic Flask. I was a little early on that, and a little late on that. Huh. We'll heal. Yeah, okay. Oh, where was my third jump, dude? Dude, this game has been doing that to me, like, multiple times tonight. Maybe I'm just bad at game, though. And hate to admit it. Yeah, don't let that one clip you. Alright, she's probably just like mostly dead here, yeah. Yep. Nice! I mean, like. Hey, that's the second time we've beaten Relina. This is doing really good. This is like beating everything very easily. And now is where I'm running out of bosses to fight. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want to do the gauntlet right now. Also, I gotta say, the range on these is absolutely spectacular. The thing that I don't mention about it is, on top of it, does it, on top of it having the highest range of all the uh, claws, it also has a ranged R2, so you're not... You kind of just get everything. Oh, he doesn't actually take damage during that, huh? Oops. Uh, I'm bad at this fight, by the way. Just a heads up. If you're curious how this one's gonna go. Oh my goodness, I didn't get grabbed. How did that happen? Hold on, am I learning? I mean, like, with this kind of damage, we can almost just, like, hit the body. Huh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Oh, this is gonna hurt, too. Nope. Tried. I missed, but I tried. Uh, that was supposed to be supposed to be me swapping back to two-handing. I think for a fight like this, that's more endurance-based. You might want to use like Godskin Swaddling Claw. All right, we got phase one down at least. Does this still go off? Yo, that's lame. Phase t phases two and three are where this fight actually gets difficult, though, honestly. Like, where I lose all control of, or all semblance of winning. Where are you? Whoa. There you are. Oh, too early. Hold up. <laughs> Is he going to charge a third time? Nope. I wonder if that's just because I get hit. That could very well be it, huh? Oh, that hit me? Excuse me, guys? Alright, it doesn't feel nearly as impressive using it one-handed. Alright. This is just how I do. 
Dude, I have been missing the two-handing input of all things. Oh, his defenses actually seem to go up in phase two or something, huh? Well, I'm dead. Goodbye. I lived. Yeah, because I want to say I was just doing... Or I guess maybe it gets more health in phase two is probably what it is. Can you tell I don't know phase two and three like at all? I think it shows. <laughs> yeah, we can just block this one. Or not. What I tried to do was vow last second and I missed. I'm just gonna run. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, we're down to two flasks and a dream. Uh, I think we die here. I think I'm really bad at this fight. But that's okay. Uh, for reference, it has 20% match resistance, but minus 40% fire. In case you were curious what element to use against it. I think it's kind of unsurprising that fire is the best one. Perfect. Uh, maybe phase three won't be so bad, huh? Hold on, we're full health. It's practically dead already. I thought I was doing something else. All right, now I should be afraid because I handled that so poorly. <laughs> I thought it was going to ult, so I, uh, like this. I'm trying. Nope. All right. While I lived, maybe I can get close and just kill it. All right. Well, it counts. GG's. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that one at all. Uh, we beat every DLC boss that I have uh, bookmarked. Sorry, I didn't do Midra or like Bale. Didn't really feel like bookmarking them, honestly, is going to be what that is. Uh, but so far, I got to say, this weapon was really good. I took out all of the DLC bosses I had bookmarked in 22 minutes. And that's including dying to only Dancing Lion of all the DLC bosses. Clearly, he's the hardest one. Anyway, uh, big recommend on this one. Very good. Hard to go wrong. I will see you guys next time, though. Uh, I think next episode, somebody asked. I don't remember... I'd have to look it up. I think somebody already mentioned the Maddening Hand, but... Is there something somebody wanted, and now I don't remember. I am so sorry. Uh, Flowerstone Gavel's gonna be really good, by the way. Alright, now I'm just scrolling through weapons. Huh. Who knows what it was. Somebody asked if I'd done the backhand blades, like the Cirques. I have done the Curse Blade one. Oh, somebody asked for the Stone, the stone Scabbard. Uh, can you... Do I have that one? I think I only have Sword of Darkness. I'll have to run and get that one. Uh, but anyway, I'll do that one soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.